Okay, so welcome to final assembly. The buttons get mounted. Before you saw in the last video, I was testing the dash just by touching these wires together. That all worked fine. So now it's mounting these buttons. These are the waterproof buttons. I solder onto the back of here, mount the buttons into this control box here. And the control box is fastened down using this. Another thing that happens as part of final assembly is the light sensor gets mounted onto this cable here and fastened into that little attachment there. And that's the light sensor done. And finally, to finish off the final assembly, we um, prepare the screens and we get them sprayed up. We uh, cut them to size and we put a waterproof seal over the edge here and we seal the screen to the edge. So let's get on with all of that. So they are the buttons done and working. So I tested them before going in, tested them after soldering and did a power up test with the dash and made sure that the option select buttons are working as expected and they are. And then finally the double sided um, adhesive tape goes on and that's um, uh, for basically for you to mount under your switch gear. So you've got um, control of the dash that way. The next thing that's going to go in now is the light sensor in the back of the dash, which is that cable, just the light sensor gets installed there. So that is light sensor installed. Um, I've ins soldered that onto the back there and the buttons are done. So now we move on to the waterproof covering screen, which will go over the top. So let's do that now. This is a one mil thick uh, PET G uh, screen, which um, I use as the, as the waterproof uh, covering uh, for the display and um, these get masked and sprayed um, to the exact size of the display, which is the 7-inch display, which is inside the TFT dash. So 
let's do that. Let's get this marked up. Let's get it uh, masked and uh, sprayed. That takes about 24 hours to dry and then we will have some screens ready to put on for the final assembly. Right, so they are the screens, masks and marked up. Um, as you can see, I've masked on the inside. There's actually a covering film on top of here, which um, I leave to uh, you to peel off so I don't touch the actual screen. What I'm going to do now is get these sprayed, so a spray from the backside, and that will give it that nice little metallic charcoal um, finish uh, from this side and it does two things it um, covers up the uh, sealant so the sealant for the screen goes behind here but it gets sprayed first uh, it covers up the sealant so you don't see that and also gives a nice little uh, finish to the border of the TFT dash and um, this is the the exact size of the seven inch uh, display which I used a, uh, a a template to to draw around which I which I had prepared before so let's get these sprayed up and that'll take some time to dry and in the meantime we can uh, use that for uh, a final assembly we can begin the final assembly So that's the screens all sprayed up and that'll take uh, about 24 hours to dry and then we can take the masking tape off and then prepare that for final assembly.
Okay, so that is everything done. That's the screen mounted, that's the screen prepared, sprayed, and it's cut to size and it's mounted and sealed to the edge of the unit here. Um, so what we've done is after sealing the display, we've basically just held the screen down with masking tape. That's gonna take about 12 hours to dry and harden and it creates a, a very strong rubber seal between this waterproof screen and the, and, the, and, the, and the plastic. So that is done. I'm going to leave that for 12 hours. The buttons are done and the two side covering panels are done. So all that has to happen now is a system reset, which is easy to do, which resets it back to the odometer screen. And then we're going to package it up and send it off. So that is the complete how a TFT dash is made from order to dispatch. So there you go.